Hi, this is Mr. Ko. Let's recall last lesson what we have done. We were doing our design process. Uh, we were doing uh, ideation, generating ideas. So we had these templates and we used straight lines to generate a random lines design. So we have four designs of straight lines, four designs of circles, and then we try to combine circles and straight lines with a combination one, two, three, four. And then we try to also play with symmetry tools. Okay, so we have two symmetry designs and we put them through HyperSketch and it, HyperSketch helps us to generate some ideas of how it might look like. Then we show it to our, our partners and ask them what design they like and, and then we have chosen one design. So from that one design, okay, uh, for my case, I have chosen Circle 1. So Circle 1 is my design for my user. Now that we have chosen the design, so now we need to go and download our template from Google, Class, Google Classroom. So look for this template called 3D Template. Right, save it in the image, and now we go to Sketchbook and load it into our Sketchbook. On the, we want to bring it onto the top layer. Then we look for our Circle One design and bring it up to the highest layer. Right. Okay, so when we bring up to the highest layer right, and put it on top of the template right, then we hide the template okay, then we will now use our copy tools on the top right, select uh, the rectangular okay, then select the design that we want there was one that selected we do a copy right, and then we copy it and go to a new layer paste it into that layer okay and then we unhide our template now we will now try to do distortion okay so on the top left okay and then distort uh, and put it into the rectangle template right using the drag and drop tools right so once we have done that we will create a new layer create a duplicate a layer of our current distorted design right and so we will now also go back to the button which on the top button with the, with the four arrows facing out and so once we're done that okay go to the new layer we move it to the back okay so drag it to the back so now we will have like a 3d view of the front and the back Right, so go to the top layer and then we will start to sketch. Okay, join join the two pieces together. Of course we want to reduce the uh, opacity so they can see better. And we start to sketch on the new layer, joining the back and the front of the shape. Okay, so this will create a view of an isometric view in 3D. We call this isometric view in 3D. Right, join them together. Okay. Right, join them together. Then we will go through the line, trace the line that can be seen. Right, only the line that can be seen. The line that cannot be seen, we will not trace them. Okay, so trace the line that can be seen. Okay, then you will see that it formed nicely into a 3D drawing. Right, then we can hide the rest of the layer and you can see that now it is a nicely drawn 3D drawing. Now we will need to draw on the on the other template which is the stand okay, which is supposed to insert into the phone stand, the slot. Right, so we will now draw over but also only drawing the lines which are seen, okay, which can be seen. The lines which are hidden will not be darkened. Alright, so once this is done, we can hide the other template and we can now clearly see that our phone stand is now in 3D.